All right, it's time for Buck Bus. Let's do it. Oh my God, Congressman McGovern, what's going on? What are you doing? Taking public transportation. Okay, you, you know, it's Jane Week, right? That's yeah. showing your support for Jane Week. Absolutely, and absolutely. And, uh, you know, I, I want to support public transportation. I'm a big believer in it. That's right, that's right. Well, uh, it's your lucky day because today we're playing Buck Bus. So I've got some Railers gear, some money, some gift cards to Dunkin' Donuts. All you have to do to get that is answer some questions about Worcester. How, how well do you think you know the city of Worcester? I hope I know it well enough to be able to <laughs> impress you. So okay. I, I, well, I've got five questions, and I, I hope I can stump you. So here, let's uh, let's start off. All right. Question number one: What miniature castle built in 1900 honors a Worcester native who served as Secretary of the Navy, founder of the U.S. Naval Academy, and U.S. Minister to Great Britain in Germany? Well, that's an easy one. It's Bancroft Tower. Ding, 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 ding. There you go. Good, great job. All right. Well, for that, I would give you a Railers hat. Love it. Yeah, put it on right now. <laughs> Sharp. Fantastic. Okay, question number two coming up. This is going to be for a $5 gift card to Dunkin' Donuts, all right? The Greendale neighborhood was particularly hard hit by what environmental problem, which has led to the removal of around 35,000 trees in Worcester since 2008? Well, I live in the Greendale neighborhood, so I know this answer uh, uh, up close to personal. It's the Asian Longhorn Beetle. That is, that is right. Another winner. Wow, two and, for two. You know, and I want to give a, a, a promotion here that uh, the former Lieutenant Governor and now the President of the Chamber of Commerce, Tim Murray, and I organized this Worcester Tree Initiative. So we're planting all the trees that were uh, destroyed by the Asian Longhorn Beetle. So we're, you know, it's, a, it's an important effort. So. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, so right now you've got a Railers hat, you got a Dunkin' Donuts gift card, and uh, two for two. So question three, let's keep this, let's keep this, let's keep this going. Of the nine towns that share a border with Worcester, which has the smallest total land mass? Nine towns that share a border with mass, I mean with Worcester, which has the smallest total land mass? West Boylston. I, I'm starting to think that you may have uh, you may have seen these questions beforehand or something. I, I, I don't know, I'm not believing it. Three for three, all right. Okay, so that's $10, that's $10. This next question is also for $10. The WRTA provides bus service to how many Central Massachusetts communities? Uh, A, 11. More than that. B, 24. C, 37. Or D, 49. Bus services to how many Central Massachusetts communities? So I think it's, it's, uh, it's either B or C, and I, um, but I think it's on the higher end. So it's either, uh, C was 37. C 37. Final answer. Another ten dollars for this man. Okay, let's see. Let's see where you're at right now. So we've got we've got Railers hat, Dunkin' Donuts gift card, best coffee in the world. By the way. <laughs> Twenty dollars. This next question, Congressman, double or nothing. So you can double it. This could be fifty dollars in the hat. We're gonna have to take back your all your money right there. So you want to do it? Uh, let's go for it. Okay. All right. He's in double or nothing. All right. What legendary band adopted the temporary pseudonym Little Boy Blue in the Cockroaches in 1981 in an attempt to keep a gig secret at Sir Morgan's Sir Morgan's Cove? So I'm old enough to remember this because uh, it was my biggest regret is that I, I wasn't able to, to be there. So Rolling Stones, uh, and, and they're on my bucket list. I want to see them before I die. Oh, before they die. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, double or nothing, there you go, you got it. My man went five for five, Congressman McGovern, to hear some cold hard cash. Congratulations. Thank you very much. What's uh, what's on tap for the rest of the day? Uh, so, uh, when I get off this bus, I've got uh, you know, appointments in my office, and then I'm going out to Northbridge. I have uh, my military academy night for people who are interested in the military academies, and um, I've got a couple of speeches today, and uh, so a busy full day. Yeah, and a great, great week here in Worcester, Jane Week, uh, you know, getting people excited about Worcester and all the great things to do in it, public transportation, a part of that. Um, for you, what, 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 what gets you excited about Worcester? Look, I, I think Worcester's experiencing a renaissance. I mean, everywhere you look, uh, you know, there are new things happening. You know, new restaurants, new pubs, you know, new development. Um, 
you know. Uh, the Worcester Railers. The Worcester, the Worcester Railers, of course, which, uh, you know, I've been to a couple of Worcester, a few, a couple of Worcester Railers, Eaton Railers games this year already. Awesome. Uh, but, I mean, it just, there's a lot happening here. And, you know, one of the things I've noticed uh, over the years is that, you know, people who go to college here, uh, who come from all over the country and all over the world, uh, in the old days, they used to come to college here and leave. Now they're staying. Stay. Uh, so Worcester's a happening city, and uh, I'm proud to, to live here, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm proud to promote the city, and I love Worcester. All right, well, I think and this I love is, the Railers. Uh, yeah, me too. They, uh, they're my, that's my job. So uh, what, my stop is here. i got to get to work. So, but thanks for playing hey, on the bus. Thank you. Appreciate right, it. I won. Double or nothing. Straight cash. <laughs>